So this is our engine, um, 2.5 EJ25, um, single overhead cam, um, and we're just, yeah, dual mass flywheel. We're just having a look at it to see what we're going to need to remove before we fit it to the van. Um, so we're going to take these covers off. Um, we're not actually going to need the power steering pump, um, so that is going to go. Um, so we don't need a belt this long, so we're going to need to get a shorter belt to go to the alternator. Um, we don't need the uh, aircon compressor either, so we're going to have to take that off um, and then get a shorter belt for this one. Um, in fact, we don't even need a belt, we can just remove that um, and take the belt off. So we just have an extra pulley on the bottom. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do is just remove this cover now. Um, we're going to get down to the timing cover, take the timing cover off and just check the condition of the belt and the uh, the idler pulleys and stuff. Um, see, see what the bearings are like um, to see if we actually need to replace uh, the water pump or anything like that. Because uh, if we can get away with it, we're just going to do the cam belt, the actual belt itself. So yeah, we're just removing these these covers just to sort of have a look at it, see what we got. So I've taken off the uh, power steering pump and uh, I've got the bracket here. The bracket's gonna need to go back on um, because the alternator uses that as uh, adjustment just on that, that slot there. That's the alternator adjustment. So that bracket will need to go back, um, but at least I'm not having the, uh, that little bit of power drain from the power steering pump anymore. Um, I've also put the engine on the floor because to take the strain off of the engine crane and because it was swinging around as I was undoing bolts and stuff. So, so that's the power steering pump off. Um, now I'm going to tackle this uh, aircon compressor. So I'm going to loosen the belt, take that off, um, figure out how to get this um, air, aircon compressor off. And it doesn't look like it looks like it might share the same bracket as the alternator on this side. Um, and then it's a matter of getting the bottom pulleys off and uh, getting into this um, cam belt cover uh, just to see the condition of the belt and stuff. So I had to um, actually take off the alternator and the alternator bracket in the end uh, to get to the bolts to take the aircon compressor off but it's off now um, so I'm actually going to leave it off because it gives me uh, much better access. Uh, there's just less crap on top of the engine to sort of get to stuff. Um, so yeah, aircon compressor is now off, uh, which means I can tackle the timing belt cover. Uh, I need to take, undo these pulleys first. Um, so that might cause me a little bit of uh, trouble because uh, the engine's not actually connected to anything now. So I might have to find a way of wedging up the flywheel somehow while I loosen that middle nut. Um, but other than that, I'm almost down to the timing belts now. I was a bit worried about cracking off the nut um, on the crank pulley here. Um, since the engine's not connected to a gearbox or anything, I couldn't put it in gear and chock the wheels, but um, I w I've managed to crack it loose now. Uh, what I did is I wedged a rag in the teeth of the flywheel. Um, so yeah, what I've done is I just put a, a rag where the starter motor would usually go and kind of wedged it in the teeth and then applied pressure just to sort of drag it through into the teeth a bit of the flywheel um, and then yeah it, that managed to hold the the crank still enough to uh, crack this nut off so that was the bit I was most worried about sort of done okay I've just pulled the plugs to make uh, turning the engine over a little bit easier by hand um, and they are absolutely knackered I don't know if you can see the electrode on that um, is like actually half worn away um, and the electrode on the one on the right there is almost non-existent um, so they are knackered um, so they'll definitely get be getting replaced I mean I was going to uh, I would have given it a full service anyway um, but it's nice to know that it could potentially run a bit even better than it did before um, but what I was really a little bit concerned about is the fact that as soon as I pulled the the plug leads uh, from the the um the head and um, there's oil piercing out of um sort of like where they connect to the where they go in and you can see it's running down onto the floor there um and i noticed that the oil filler actually connects straight to the like the rocker cover head um 
the rocker cover. So I don't know if they're supposed to, if there's an oil jacket that kind of runs um, sort of around the top of these. Um, I've never come across that before, if so. Um, but yeah, answers in the comments below, please. Should I be concerned about that or not? I'm, I'm not too familiar with Subarus, um, but I've never had oil pissing out of the, um, uh, the plug lead tubes before. Right, if there's anything I've learned over the years from tinkering with cars, it's that it's always the simple shit that's going to fuck you up. Um, and I've taken off the crank pulley, uh, gone to undo the uh, timing belt cover bolts. Uh, the three on the right hand end came off fine and the majority of them also came off fine. Um, but there was four, there was two here and there's two underneath that the heads have been completely fucked up by someone in the past. Um, you can't see that, it's too dark. Um, here's the ones I've managed to remove. Uh, that one actually doesn't look that bad, but it was almost completely round. Um, and the same with this one. Uh, again, that doesn't look that bad, but it's just round. Well, actually, it kind of looks round. Um, and there's two under there. There's one about here, and there's another one about here, which I still can't get off. Um, so I'm going to have to come back armed with something a bit better than uh, mole grips. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to call it a day for today. But I've done got a reasonable amount of progress. Um, I can see the timing belt from this end. I don't want to touch it too much with um, greasy hands, but it doesn't look too bad. But obviously, you can never really tell with cam belts. I'm going to replace it anyway. Really what I want to know is what the tensioners are like and uh, what the water pump bearings are like uh, and whether I need to buy a full kit or not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it a day for today um, and I'll come back to it.